was from GDSE summit that was held last to last year when I was one of the GDSE leads from my campus. Hi everyone, this is Ash Goyal. In this video, I'm going to talk about GDSE lead and how can you become one. Also, we'll discuss about the, my entire experience of being a GDSE lead, what all things I did as a part of GDSE, and along with that, the applications for GDSE have opened up again. So if you're a college student currently in your first year, second year, third year, so definitely this is a good opportunity for you to become a team leader, become someone who is good at technology, someone who interacts with people. So make sure you watch this video till then so that you can get the best out of this opportunity. So without any further ado, let's get started. Before moving ahead with this video, I would like to mention about Cryo.do. Cryo.do is a platform that can help you get an assured job and it is one of the India's largest work experience based learning platform. They have different programs in backend development, full stack development. They are considered to be one of the best programs for learning development. So what exactly do you see here in this website? Once you click on the link in the description below, you will find out different, different programs that they have that includes full stack developer program in which you will be getting a one week free trial. So definitely you can check out if you like it, you can continue. If you don't like it, you can discontinue. So this is going to be a free trial for one week for full stack developer program also, backend developer program also, in which you will be learning skills like React, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Mon, and in backend development program, you will be learning Java, Spring Boot, REST APIs, MongoDB, caching, and a lot more. Along with that, they also have their fellowship program in software development, where you'll be learning DSL, Go, system design, project-led, Mon, or backend specialization. Externships with real tech companies and granted placement in top dev roles. So this is also a nine month program. You will be getting a one week free trial for this as well. Also for master's program in QA automation, you will be getting a one week free trial. So if you're looking forward to uh, be at some of the amazing tech companies which are hiring through Cryo, that includes Paytm, Zoho, WebEngage, Deloitte, T-Shaw, VMware, even companies like Microsoft and Amazon do hire through their platform. So you can definitely check out cryo.do and once you click on the link in the description you will go on to this page where you can get some free gifts from my end these includes free guide to product based interviews free guide to best resumes free guide to many projects so these gifts can also help you learn a lot about resumes projects and your interview preparation so definitely you can check out and you can apply the code arsh underscore goyal to get a 10 percent discount on all their courses that are available Let's move on to the video. What happens in a GDS is like all over India, Google Developer Student Club, like the team of Google developers, they open up applications for GDSC leads, which are currently open up till April 15th. So what happens in this application is they select around 200, 250 people, like every year this number varies. So we can't just specify a particular number. Like last to last year, it was around 172. Last year it increased to 270. And this year it might increase to some other number. So the major thing that a GDSE lead does on his campus is majorly inculcating the, a good development culture throughout his campus, uh, conducting and organizing events that can help build uh, skills in his or her community along with that building some great non-tech skills of organizing good communication skills better networking opportunities and a lot more talking about the eligibility criteria like who is eligible for this particular opportunity so someone who has one year of college left is eligible for this opportunity so batch of 2023 2020 for 2025 so all of you are eligible for this particular opportunity you can apply for it definitely what all things you need so uh, you might have some good development skills it might be in any one particular thing it can be either web android anything that you like it can be ml so you just need to be good at one development skill you should have a good uh, profile that should include your organizing experiences that you might have been involved in different hackathons you might have been involved in different workshops speaking seminars or so so that basically shows that you can lead a team you can form a team you can conduct events and and you are an all-rounder personality what happens one, once a gdsc lead is selected is you will be trained you will be asked to form your team on campus uh, of different different domains like there will be people from android there will be people from web there will be people from ml background and they will be leading their own teams you will be collaborating on different projects making different projects and you like your team you and your team would be getting trainings from uh, trainers at google and you will be imparting those trainings to students in your college through workshops and seminars so this is basically what you will be actually doing so trainings can be on different different technologies like flutter android machine learning uh, google cloud so all different domains like a lot of different domains have been uh, there throughout the program is what i have experienced 
Now talking about what are the perks and benefits of you being a DSC lead. So the first thing that I would like to clear is this is basically a community service. So there's no monetary thing involved in the whole process. The things that you will be getting out of this is good communication skills. You will be able to communicate your ideas. Your presentation skills are definitely going to improve. That will indirectly help you ace your interview round because you can present your things well in front of the interview. You can keep the things in an organized way in your play. Secondly, you will have a lot of networking opportunities. There are a lot of events that are being conducted uh, in your campus, in and around your campus. Some two or three GDSEs combined together to collaborate on a particular event. Uh, events are also being conducted by GDGs. Uh, like there's an event being conducted throughout a state level that is known as DevFest. So different different networking opportunities. You will be called on to these events as a speaker as an organizer so you will go and meet a lot of different people intellectuals who have been into some amazing companies who have been into amazing communities so these are some of the perks along with that gdsc also conducts a summit every year so the video that you saw in the very beginning that was a part of a gdsc summit like last to last year before covid it was all good we were having an offline summit at goa but uh, as the things are improving this year, so you might have that summit this year as well. Along with that, there are a lot of events and you can request for support from Google in terms of swags and goodies for your college students, for uh, your team and uh, a lot of other things. So this is basically the stuff that you will be getting. Along with that, these are the things like if you feel that you have those leadership qualities, that skills that you can lead a team. So definitely this is a must go opportunity for you. Talking about the selection process, so how you will be actually applying for this particular opportunity and how you will get be getting selected. So the first thing is make sure you fill out a form that is there in the description below. The last date to register for that form is 15th of April. So there will be three major processes that happen every year. Might change this year due to something or the another but I will be explaining you what uh, generally used to be the process. So the first thing is you need to fill out an application form. In that application form there will be questions asked based on your uh, skills. Skills in the form of organizing skills on the on the on the basis of uh, uh, how good you are at your leadership skills. How like in the past if you have shown some leadership qualities or in the past if you have shown something that shows that you can lead a team. So those things are uh, asked generally. Some of your development skills also might be asked. Might be you might need to give your GitHub link or so. Uh, along with that, they like the major questions that they'll focus upon are in particular about your previous experiences so make sure you uh, gather down all your previous experiences on a notebook then frame those answers very carefully and then only submit the application after you like that after that form filling there is something known as a video uh, uh, introduction in which you need to tell why you want to be a google developer student club lead uh, in this you can mention about your experiences your uh, why you are a suitable fit for this particular role basically they want to see whether you are confident enough in speaking whether you can lead whether you can lead your campus whether you can work with people whether you can talk to people and uh, this is what they aim out of that particular video so that video is also a very very important part that enables like that will only show key whether you're selected for this program or not third thing is after these two rounds are done so there's one interview scheduled with the uh, community manager from google it would be a general interview not a tech interview in which you will be asked about your experiences they'll ch generally check like it's a cross check of what you have written and what you're speaking so make sure you write all your answers truly and don't fake anything you're your answers should include your community skills, leadership skills, organization skills, your development skills and along with that try quoting down different different experiences that you had from past. Also like if GDSC is already there on your campus so there is something known as a referral code that you can take from your uh, current lead. He can refer up to three people on his or her campus so you can go out go and reach out to him tell him why you are the suitable candidate and why he should give a referral code to him for campuses in which GDSC or Google Developer Student Club is not there so you can definitely go and check out and apply for this particular opportunity that was it for this particular video i hope you will like this amazing video for more such amazing content more such amazing videos make sure you hit that like button subscribe to this channel we'll thank you see you guys see your video until then all the best good luck bye